It's January 3rd, 2019, when the Chinese rover U-22 sets foot on the fabled far side of the moon. Today, a good three years later, we know that the hopes experts placed in the mission were fulfilled. For in fact, the unmanned vehicle has already recorded several unusual discoveries on the hidden side of our natural satellite. What the rover Jade Hayes 2, or Jade Rabbit 2 in German, tracked down exactly, and what we were able to find out about these exciting discoveries, we'll show you in today's video. Once to learn more about the exciting discoveries in the universe on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to never miss one of our videos in the future. By giving us a thumbs up, you're motivating us and showing that we can keep you excitingly informed with the content of our posts. the far side of the moon. As mentioned, U-22 has been investigating the far side of the moon for three years now. Specifically, it's the first rover ever to directly explore this area of the satellite. Since the moon has a bound rotation, which means that it always faces our blue home planet on one and the same side, we are not allowed to look at the opposite area from our terrestrial point of view at any time. In fact, the Apollo astronauts are still the only people in history who have seen the backside of the moon with their own eyes. However, thanks to images taken over the years by the probes of the international space agencies, we now know quite a bit about the appearance of the far side of the moon. Even at first glance, it's clear that the dark regions, meaning lowlands covered by lava, are much more rare on the side facing away from the Earth than on the opposite area of the celestial body. In detail, this also means that the far side of the moon has a higher reflectivity than the side presented to us. In view of this fact, we also understand why the often used expression dark side of the moon could not be more misleading. The truth is that the region of the satellite away from the Earth also goes through the typical lunar phases, just in the opposite order. Due to the higher albedo, the backside of the satellite actually shines brighter than the front side does during the corresponding phase. Why the Chinese space agency decided to explore the far side of the celestial body in the context of our soft lunar landing becomes clear when we consider the role that this area could play in future space missions. In fact, the region of the moon facing away from the Earth appears to be particularly promising when it comes to carrying out especially sensitive measurements. Researchers would be able to carry out their work there without the distorting effects of interfering terrestrial lights and radio traffic. The flip side, however, is that telemetry, or in other words, the transmission of measured values to Earth, could only be carried out using complex lunar satellites. Before this can happen, however, the characteristics and nature of the corresponding lunar region must first be analyzed in detail. In order to achieve this as comprehensively as possible, U-22 was equipped with various complex payloads, which we would like to take a closer look at together with you. The Rover's Equipment in order for U-22 to be able to transmit an authentic impression of the shape of the moon's far side, the land vehicle is equipped with a panoramic camera that can take pictures with a resolution of up to one millimeter per pixel. In this way, detailed three-dimensional images are obtained, which form an important basis for research in the geological structure and surface morphology. The LPR ground-penetrating radar is similar in design to the equipment used by U-2's predecessor, spacecraft. With the help of LPR, which has two different channels, the rover can measure the subsurface structure of the moon's far side. In detail, the radar is able to look up to 300 feet deep into the subsurface. To analyze the mineralogical composition of the lunar surface, the VNIS imaging infrared spectrometer is used. Attached to the front of the rover's housing, the spectrometer operates in both visible light and infrared. Meanwhile, ASAN, a neutral atom detector, is the only payload on U-22 that was not designed and developed in China. It came from the Swedish Institute of Space Physics. And in fact, the device is already credited with revealing an unexpected fact. Normally, about 20% of the solar wind hitting the lunar surface is reflected in the form of energy-neutral atoms. Surprisingly, however, the corresponding reflection near the landing site was 10% higher than expected. Incidentally, what applies to us humans 
can also be applied to U22. The rover has to sleep regularly. As soon as night approaches on the moon, the land vehicle must move to its pre-selected sleeping place. U22 then points its solar module to the east, folds its parabolic antenna and camera into its housing, over which it pulls its mobile solar cell wings to cover itself and protect it from the cold of the lunar night. Unlike on Earth, the days and nights on our natural companion last 14 Earth days each. When the back of the moon is bathed in sunlight again, U22 automatically awakens from its slumber and readies its component for use. But the rover also appreciates a midday nap during the mid-hours of the long lunar days. When the thermometer climbs to over 120 degrees Fahrenheit, the rover completes a 78-hour rest period during which it stays put. Now that we understand how U22 works and what payloads it has, it's time to take a look at the exciting discoveries the Chinese land vehicle has been able to track down so far. Glass Beads on the Moon when we think of the surface of Earth's moon, images of endless, dusty, cratered landscapes immediately come to mind. Beyond these familiar features, however, the satellite of our blue home planet is home to many other exciting formations, such as the tiny, translucent, lunar glass spheres that U22 discovered just a short time ago. But what is the background of these fascinating objects? How could glass beads of just about an inch in diameter be formed on the satellite? If one follows the explanation of the responsible research team from China, then it was a violent impact on the moon's surface that caused the glassy balls to develop. According to this, an object once struck the outside of the satellite, causing the lunar rock to melt. In detail, the lunar crust is largely composed of silicate minerals, which are classified in the group of so-called feldspars. The glowing melting process, which was set in motion by the impact on the lunar surface, finally resulted in the formation of drop-shaped glass spheres. In the process, the iron-poor lunar rock managed to condense in time after melting, paving the way for the exciting discovery by the Chinese rover. In the process, the transparent object could provide important insights into the general course of impacts on the moon as part of future investigations. The Lunar Lodge In the fall of 2021, U22 strayed into an extremely rough lunar region. To discern how to guide the rover back to safe territory, Chinese researchers decided to have the land vehicle take a panoramic image of the terrain in question. When the experts looked at the images, it didn't take long for their gaze to touch on an unusual detail. On the northern horizon, in the immediate vicinity of a fairly recent impact site, was an object that appeared almost cube-shaped within the image. But how could it be that such a structure with perfect edges graced the surface of our satellite? Since scientists did not know at first what the ominous object was, it was initially referred to as the mysterious hut. Of course, it didn't take long before the wildest speculations about the moon cabin were voiced on the web. Quite a few users considered it conceivable that it could actually be the structure of an unknown alien civilization. However, the researchers did not want to enter the realm of conjecture and instructed the technicians to get as close as possible to the structure, which was about 250 feet away. Since the published pictures triggered a gigantic media echo, as already mentioned, the terrestrial research researchers worked with high pressure to reach the mysterious hut as quickly as possible and to crown crude theories with actual facts. On December 27, 2021, the time had finally come. U22 approached the supposedly cube-shaped object to within 30 feet and was able to examine the structure for the first time from a very short distance. The images that the rover then took made all the speculations about extraterrestrial structures collapse like houses of cards. The moon lodge was simply an ordinary rock at the edge of the impact crater. Seen at close range, the structure no longer appeared cube-shaped, but rather reminded us of a rabbit crouching in front of a carrot. In reference to this picture and to the name of the rover, the former mysterious hut was therefore also baptized Jade Rabbit. Now we want your opinion. What do you think about the exciting research mission of U22 and the discoveries the rover has already made during its mission? Drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more interesting videos about the most exciting discoveries in the universe? Then take a look at the other posts on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.